What's up guys, Matt here, back with another video. Today I've got an update for you after my original video where we set up an auto clicker using the Shortcuts app on iOS. Since that video, Mario Kart Tour has had the 3.0 update which has made everything easier in terms of using the try again button to re-race each race. So is there still a reason that you would use an auto clicker? Absolutely. You can clear your entire token shop in one day using an auto clicker, letting it run overnight. If you haven't checked out part one, make sure to click the link above right now and go check that out to learn all about an overview of what this is and how to set it up before you continue. All right, welcome back. Let's take a look at the changes that we've made to the shortcut and how we can use it with Mario Kart Tour's 3.0 update. First up, the same as what we did before, you'll need to download the iOS shortcut which I've linked in the video description down below. Once you've downloaded that, you want to add a widget so that you can launch the app really easily. So you can see that here over on my phone, I've got the widget over on the left here. I'm going to jump into the shortcuts app and see what we've changed in the shortcut. Before now, we needed to use the shortcut to open the app to select the driver cart glider as well as the map and hit start as well as a finishing command. Now I've simplified this down to just one very simple command which is super easy to program. So let's follow on and do this together. So essentially the only thing that we've changed in this command is that we only have one text command which is spoken using the voice command app. Um, from there, it just simply repeats that same command after a set amount of seconds. Um, and the reason why is all we're doing with this command is hitting that try again button in the app once the race finishes. So this is very simple to set up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead, as we did in the first video, jump over to our settings and set up the voice command itself. I'm going to navigate to settings as we did before, scroll down to accessibility, voice control, I'm just gonna turn it off right now, customize commands, custom, and you can see that uh, we're gonna set up a new command uh, to the ones previously that we used to differentiate here. So we've got the text repeat auto, so I'm gonna create new command and type in repeat, Auto. I'm going to select action and run custom gesture. All right, so this is the bit that we did before. It took a little bit of trial and error, but this time around, it's going to be relatively straightforward. I'm just going to cancel on that for now, and I'm going to switch over to the app. I'm going to choose the race that I want to do. In this case, it's a get opponent, a get tokens from opponent crashes. So I'm gonna select Maple Treeway RT, and I'm gonna use a high level driver that has a offensive skill. So it, typically there would be Pinger. Um, you can see on this account, I've only got him at level one, but um, choose, you can adjust the map as needed. And the cool thing is you can use this with any map you like in the game. All right, I'm gonna select a, a, a cart. In this case, I've got the flower cart to level up, so I'm gonna select that one there. And then I'm gonna choose a skill that's gonna give me something offensive. So in this case, we're gonna select a bomb glider. And we're gonna do one round where we just simply auto race the race. So I've clicked on auto, and we're just gonna leave that until the race finishes. But then we're not gonna click anything. We're just gonna let the race finish and wait. So let's just skip ahead to the end of the race now and see what we need to do to set up this command. All right guys, here we are at the end of the race and the race is gonna automatically finish. It's gonna take a few seconds and then we're gonna just leave it on the screen and I'm gonna show you what we need to do. So I'm just gonna leave it on the screen as it is. We're gonna switch back over to the custom gesture. So this is very simple gesture that we're gonna program. All it is is 
uh, clicking multiple times where we believe the try again button to be. Um, so probably the easiest way to do this is just trial and error, try to figure it out, try to guess the exact location. It is somewhere down in that very bottom left corner of the screen. Um, last time I did this I aimed a little bit too high so I'm trying to aim a little bit lower. Um, let's see if we can just kind of uh, guess it without having to wait for an entire another race to test it. So I want to test it straight away as part of the setup. So I'm going to click run custom gesture, I'm going to hide controls and then I'm going to start clicking. I'm going to click one, two, three, hide controls again, four, five, six times. That should be enough. I'm going to wait for it to come back up, stop, and save. Cool. There was no rhyme or reason behind doing six clicks. There needs to be a minimum of four to click through the different screens and hit try again. But actually the more clicks, it, it, sh it won't matter because uh, there's nothing else on the screen when the race tries again. It won't uh, break it if you click too many times. If you click too fewer times, then that could be an issue. So, you know, error on the side of, of clicking too many times and you should be good. So I'm now going to go back to new command and make sure I hit save in the top right corner there. Okay, head back, back, and now I'm going to turn voice control on. All right, so let's go ahead now and test the shortcut and make sure it is working. So we'll automatically go to this next screen here. We're not going to tap the screen at all. We're going to switch over to the shortcuts app and we're going to test it. Now it's worth noting that you can launch this shortcut from here. Uh, from this button in the bottom right corner or from the widget over here. During the testing phase I recommend that you launch it from the shortcuts app. That way you can quickly switch back and hit stop when it's trying to click all over the screen if the timing isn't quite right. But this shortcut should be really straightforward. It's just going to tap six times in that bottom left corner on that try again button and we'll see how well our aim was. So here we go. Alright, so you can see the taps are aiming a little high there. Hopefully I kind of move down and uh, and I can hit that button. Cool. Alright, it looked like it worked. Uh, one of those taps was low enough, but it only took one to make sure I hit that button. And we're in, guys. Alright, from here, it's pretty straightforward. We want to let it run through one more time, and once it gets to the end, the command should automatically launch based on that repeat to say repeat auto again, and then tap the screen again. The key thing with this is to make sure that the timing is right. So just to switch over, we will see within the shortcut that it's, it's waiting for 160 seconds. If that's too long or too short, it's going to interrupt the uh, repeating. So ensure that you mess around maybe anywhere between 140 and 170, depending on the race, um, would be a good time frame. So just have a mess around with that. 160 is probably about right. Um, I'm just going to stop this now because we don't need to test it on camera. Um, you can do that yourself as you go. But essentially, we're just looking at the race finishes, maybe there's 5, 10 second gap, and then it launches from there. So have a go and hopefully that works for you. So that's pretty much it guys, it's working for us. That is great, that's what we wanna see. Just one final tip before we go. We have this great thing on iOS called the control center where we can swipe up or swipe down depending on your phone to see the controls. And we have this wee button here in the right corner which I've enabled which allows us to turn on and off voice control. When we have it on, we will see a little blue microphone in the top right corner and when it is off, that microphone will go away. And that means that my phone isn't trying to turn everything I say into text when we click into a text field, uh, which can be really annoying if you're using it on your normal phone. So to set this up, we're gonna head over to settings. We're gonna navigate down to control center and we're gonna ensure that in the under the included controls section, we've moved accessibility shortcuts from this section down the bottom and we've hit plus and added it up the top. 
Then from there to add voice control to the accessibility shortcuts, we're gonna go down to um, accessibility and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom here under accessibility shortcut, we're gonna make sure we've scrolled down and enabled voice control. From there, you'll be able to turn on and off the voice command at will, which is super useful when you're using this every day. That's been it guys. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and make sure to come and join us over on Discord where we can support you setting this up. We've got a dedicated auto clicker channel where you can get all the support you need um, with setting this up for yourself. And uh, we have a great community where we're talking game strategy and working together and building a great community. Lastly, before I go, I'll be remiss to mention this brand new merch that I'm wearing. I'm so stoked to be wearing this beautiful custom uh, warm hoodie. Uh, I know there's people over in the Northern Hemisphere who are watching my channel who are going into winter. So make sure you get yourself some nice, warm and uh, good quality merch at the link in the description down below. Help and support the channel and what I'm building here uh, for a few dollars and um, yeah, get some great garments as you go with it. That's been it guys, take care, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, uh, make sure to join us over on Discord, take care and we'll see you next time, bye bye.